Hello friends, welcome back to Dainty Gifts School of Decor and Decoupage. Today I will show you how I decorated this desk organizer and I also have an exciting giveaway announcement so stick around till the end of the video to find out how to enter. I start with this blank MDF organizer that my friend's dad kindly made for me. I prepare the surface for decorating by applying one coat of white acrylic gesso all over the item. You can use acrylic or chalk paint instead. Next I take this small MDF plaque that I will be applying my decoupage picture onto and prime it with gesso as well. Once gesso is dry I take a large piece of my DAS air drying clay Soften it up in my hands, then using a rolling pin I roll it out so that I have a large enough sheet of clay to cover the long side of the organiser. I place the organiser onto clay, then cut around it to make the sheet of clay more manageable. When I'm happy with the size of clay, I set it to the side and make another sheet, then use my existing cut as a template to cut the other one to size. When both cuts are ready, I apply a coat of trade grade PVA glue onto the surface and apply the first sheet. Once happy with its position, I cut the excess clay and smooth out the edges by dipping my finger in water, then gently rubbing it across the edges. Then I repeat the process on all four sides and the top of the lid. Once I've applied clay on all four sides, I take a ruler and starting from the center, I start etching in my diamond pattern. I just eyeballed it, which is why the end result is far from straight and symmetrical. If you possess more patience than me, you're welcome to work out the exact measurements and the size you're going to need to get the perfect pattern. I press in my oval plaque where I want it to go later to straighten out the clay. Then once again I repeat this on all four sides. Once I've gone around the whole organizer, I use the back end of a brush to put in round indents in the crisscross sections to sit pearls into later. Now 
When the clay is fully dry, I take a piece of sandpaper and give everything a good sand to smooth out the surfaces. This step is very messy, so best done with a mask on and outside if possible. When sanded, I take my beaded ribbon and silicone glue and apply it to the bottom part of the organizer. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I sort out the oval plaque. I cut out one of these Georgian ladies that I found on Etsy. This is a print done on photo paper, just using my normal inkjet printer. I then spray it with water to loosen up the paper fibers to allow glue seep in. I apply a coat of Mod Podge onto the plaque. Then dab away the excess water off the photo and apply onto the plaque. I then apply another coat of Mod Podge and let it dry. Next I move on to painting. I used white, black and all sorts of blue to mix up a greyish blue shade that looked good with the decoupage picture. Once happy with the colour, I paint the whole organiser in this colour, leaving out the two open compartments and the bottom of the organiser. For the two open compartments, I mixed yellow, black and brown paint, applied one coat of it, and once dry, I added a little bit of gold metallic paint into the mix, for the second coat. By the time I was done painting, the plaque with the decoupage is dry, so I sanded off the edges and used a sponge dabber and a brown paint mix to paint the edges. Once painted, I applied gold deco wax over the edges. After having a good look at the organizer, once it was painted, I decided it was missing something. So I took this redesign with Prima mold, das clay, PVA glue once again, and made some decorative borders to go around the top ridges and the lid. I also used Pebeo contour liner to add little extra frilly edges around the moulds. Once again I used silicone glue to apply my decoupaged plaque onto the organiser into the spot that we made earlier.
I let them dry then painted over them to make them the same blue colour as everything else. Next we move on to the final decorating steps. I glue on my little decorative pearls into the designated areas. I use silicone glue, however if you have super glue it will be better, it will be a lot easier to use. I had to use silicone glue because I ran out of super glue. Once the glue is dry we move on to aging. I used dark wax technique for it. First I applied clear chalk paint wax all over the organizer. I used any Sloan but any brand will do. Next I take the dark wax and working in smaller sections I apply it onto the organizer, buff it in with a cloth then take my clear wax once again apply a very generous amount over and then using that same cloth I wipe away the excess black wax. I used Liberon black patinating wax but again any dark colour or brand will do. I learned this technique from furniture artist Chris Dorner on YouTube so check her out, I'll leave her channel in the description down below. I repeat this process all over the organiser. I then glued on a little handle onto the lid and using the same gold wax I showed off the moulded borders. And so we have reached the end of the video and the end of this project. Let me know your thoughts on it and let me know your thoughts on the little decoupaged black and clay combination. I originally wanted to just cover the whole organiser in patterned paper and just decoupage the whole thing but then changed my mind so let me know your thoughts which way would you have preferred it also did you learn anything new was there any techniques that you saw today that you didn't know about before and you want to try now i would like to know that as well right now on to the exciting giveaway dainty gifts channel has recently passed 20k subscriber mark so to celebrate i want to give back and give away some goodies there will be three different winners and three different prizes for this giveaway. I will be picking one winner from UK, one winner from US and one winner from the rest of the world. The reason for that is postage and I have also partnered with Little Birdie Crafts for this giveaway, hence why we have three different categories. So on to prizes, the UK winner will get a little parcel of goodies filled with Little Birdie Crafts products and papers. I will also be including a little handmade prezi from myself, so something that I have made 
I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I'm sure I'll figure out something very special. And of course, I will be covering the postage of this parcel. The winner from the US will get a $30 gift card to spend in Little Birdie Crafts online shop. Shipping will also be covered by them. And for the third prize, one lucky person will get a free copy of my Circus is Coming to Town video masterclass. Since this is a digital product, there will be no shipping required. All I'm going to need to send you the masterclass is your email address. Now onto the rules. All you need to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to enter, leave your name and the country that you are in so I can pick the winners. You can like and share this video and follow me on Instagram and Facebook too. That would be amazing but you don't have to, to enter this giveaway. The winner will be announced here on my channel on the 23rd of July. And that is it. All of the links as always are in the description down below for products, for my social media, everything like that. Check it out. Lots of love from my house to yours and I will see you in the next video. Bye.